Larsine, and I'm student council president. This is it. We did it. Can I get a ho oh yeah? At freshman orientation, I was told I will get out of Lenape as much as I put in. Four years later, I know that we got everything out that we put in and so much more. I really want to thank class of 2015 for making these last four years so special for me. I would now like to invite all senior choir members up to the risers. It is my pleasure to introduce Lenape Principal, Mr. Len Westman. At this time, I'd like the Lenape JRTC to post the colors for this evening's graduation. Audience, please be seated. Senior choir members, please return to your seats. At this time, I'd like to just take a quick moment and thank the Lenape Combined Chorus under the direction of Mr. Brandon Moore. Everyone, please be seated. Save the best for last. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to begin my remarks tonight by recognizing some important people with us tonight. First off, members of our Lenape Regional High School District Board of Education. Representing the Lenape Regional High School District, our Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Heather Zanakis. Yeah, that's right, we can clap, yep. 
I would also like to take a quick moment and recognize our seven 2015 Lenape faculty retirees. And there are, some are on the field and some are around the stadium here tonight with us. Mr. Larry Brennan. <laughs> Mrs. Eileen Myers. Mr. Edward Bucky Mitchell. Mrs. Patty Mitchell, Mrs. Harla Pfeiffer, Miss Linda Sharon, and Mr. Bill Wiegan. And these seven teachers collectively have provided 234 years of service to Lenape High School. I'd also like to recognize our parents and guardians that are with us tonight, family and friends, members of the Lenape staff, and most importantly, members of the Lenape High School class of 2015. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the 55th commencement of the Lenape Regional High School District at Lenape High School and to the class of 2015 graduation ceremony. Tonight we celebrate and recognize your accomplishments as individuals and as a class which have served to make Lenape High School a better place for all. In the song, The Best Day of My Life, the American authors start by singing about achieving their goals. By receiving your Lenape High School diploma tonight, all of you are achieving a goal. By achieving this goal, you have now built an academic foundation which will lead to great things in the future. You have now met the academic requirements placed before you by the Lenape Regional High School District, and together, all of you have achieved this milestone. While tonight marks the attainment of the collective goal of graduating from high school, it is also a celebration of the individual goals that each of you have mastered. The list of goals that the Lenape class of 2015 has achieved is quite impressive, and this is just some examples. The examples include 15 seniors who achieved a perfect SAT subject matter score or a perfect ACT score during their time at Lenape. There were, there was 400, yeah, we can clap on that, sure. There was 400, 409 members of this class who are going to be going to 137 different colleges and universities. This class has positively impacted Lenape High School and the Lenape community by having seniors earn distinction as all conference and all state as members of our band and chorus, as well as gracing the Lenape stage with outstanding and popular productions. The collective members of the class of 2015 have earned 21 Olympic Conference championships, nine South Jersey championships, and five state championships on the athletic fields of competition during your time here. Class of 2015, you should be proud of all these accomplishments. And again, they're just some of the examples of what you have achieved in your time here. When I think about how excited you all must be about your future plans and dreams, I must admit that I'm experiencing similar feelings of excitement regarding my recently announced retirement from my position as grade 9, 10 principal here at Lenape High School. While I'm, a, while I'm definitely excited to pursue a fresh approach to my life, I am faced with questions you may be thinking about as well. Again, some examples include how I respond to this major life change. I can tell you one thing, my wife's got a long to-do list. That, I've got to work on. How can I make the most of this opportunity? And where will I find myself five or 10 years from now? It better not be in a rocking chair. Whether we like to admit it or not, change can be unsettling, but we must all strive to maximize how we adapt to it. Even though this next phase in my life is called retirement, I prefer to view retirement as a graduation in life which will enable me to pursue new challenges that I've been unable to pursue over my 36-year career here at Lenape High School. I, like all of you, am blessed to have an amazing support system upon whom I've relied on in the past and will continue to do so 
in the future. I learned a long time ago that people in your life are so much more important than any of the things that you have or the material possessions that you may own. With that thought in mind, I'd like to take a moment and recognize and thank the members of my family who are with me here tonight. First, my wife, Diane. My oldest daughter, Jamie. And my other daughter, Lauren. Unfortunately, my son, our son David, could not be with us tonight due to work commitments, but I still love him just as much as the three that made it tonight. All right? Thank you for your love and support, daughters and wife. I heard a few awes. I tried to do that. Class of 2015, as you prepare to graduate tonight and continue upon your life's journey, it is important for you to stop and thank the supporting people in your life as well. Your Mount Laurel and Lenape teachers and school administrators have provided invaluable assistance to get you where you are today and have served to help you form the foundation of all your future successes. Your parents and other families have been with you through many adventures and will continue to be by your side as your individual life story continues to unfold. Be sure to take the time to tell them how much you appreciate them and how much they mean to you. Class of 2015, please join me in a round of applause which recognizes the sacrifices and support you have received through the years from your parents and from your families. Life After Lenape will take the class of 2015 in many different directions. Some of you will find yourselves enrolling in two or four year institutions of higher education. Others will enter the world of work and still others will enter the armed forces to help defend our great country. I would now like to ask all United States Armed Services veterans with us tonight as well as any current or future class of 2015 members of our nation's military to please stand at this moment and be recognized. You may be seated, but on behalf of everyone in attendance tonight, thank you for your service and sacrifice for our great country. My favorite part of the best day of my life song is when the artists contend, I'm never going to look back, and they do a little woo in there, all right? I'm never going to give it up. I'm going to try to sing that part. But based on my life's experiences, your ability to persevere is one of the most important qualifiers for success. As you've already seen, in each of your own lives. Each of you has a unique story to tell about how you have overcome obstacles to get where you are today. A recent example of this, somebody right in your class, is senior Annie Peichel, who, <clears throat> who underwent successful brain surgery on June 1st and June 2nd, just 16 and 17 days ago, and is here graduating with her class tonight. As we, as we look towards the future, it is my hope that you become or are the type of person who makes things happen rather than sitting back wishing or watching things happen. That you enjoy the precious gift of life. And as the late Carnegie Mellon University professor Randy Powell stated in his book, The Last Lecture, and I quote, find your passion in life, follow it, and remember the importance of people over material possessions. My interpretation of Professor Pausch's quote, quote is that in life, the challenge for you will be to strike a balance between future career success while maintaining great relationships with your family and your friends. As Professor Pausch, Pausch mentioned in his book, in life you will experience obstacles, or as he calls them, brick walls. He argued that brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. The brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. 
as you live your life, don't allow obstacles or brick walls to deter you from your future plans and dreams. Former North Carolina State head men's basketball coach Jim Valvano said it best when accepting the first ever Arthur Ashe Courage Award in March of 1993 at the ESPY Awards. Coach Valvano, who was battling terminal cancer at the time, stated that there are three things we can do each day to make it a full day. He will always be remembered for stating, it's okay to laugh, cry, and spend time in thought every day. And that makes his definition of a full day. And for also being remembered for saying, don't give up, don't ever give up, as he spoke about battling his personal battles with cancer. Hey guys, how's uh, everybody doing tonight? Nice weather we got here, no rain, no thunder, that's good. Um, for those of you that don't know, actually before I begin my speech, uh, Mr. Westman and I have had a tradition of giving each other a nice firm handshake in the hallway each day, and I think that was just our last one. So um, could we just give him another round of applause for everything? All right. I would just like to begin by extending a huge thank you to the class of 2015 for allowing me to serve as president for the past four years. It has been an amazing opportunity and experience. Thank you, guys. Oh, okay. With that being said, today we begin a new chapter in our lives. The future has just begun. It feels like just yesterday we were freshmen. Follow your dreams. Never give up. All right, I think that's just about every cliche graduation quote I can think of, so hopefully that covers us for the rest of the night. What is the most useful and versatile tool to a high school student? Some of you may be thinking of a pencil or a folder or maybe a very expensive calculator. The more sentimental minds may be thinking of a person such as a parent or a teacher or maybe a close friend. Others may believe that the brain or the heart is the most powerful tool. All these are great answers, but what I'm thinking of is a body part, or rather parts, not given the credit they deserve. I use them every day and for so many different purposes. For me, the most important tools are my hands. My hands have been a part of almost everything I've done, whether I'm using them to give my friend a high five in the hallway, enter my locker combination in, or even wipe a tear from my eye. The first time I used my hands as a student at Lenape was to grasp the cold, unfamiliar handle of the main entrance doors. My initial thought as I opened those doors and walked toward my freshman year was, what can I do at this school so I'm not just another name in the yearbook? Many of my fellow seniors would agree with me in saying that participating in school events was the most rewarding and memorable parts of their time spent at Lenape. One event I remember seeing everybody at was our first home football game taking place right here on this field. We were still at the bottom of the food chain, so we didn't get the good seats on the bleachers, nor do we know what to expect from a Lenape football game. But that didn't stop us from freaking out and hugging our friends when we scored or cupping our hands at the side of our mouths and shouting, hey, go Lenape, at the top of our lungs. I think I can still hear those voices now. I can also hear the voices of my now fellow sophomores helping each other out as we prepared the hallways for the homecoming dance that year. The theme was cities around the world, and we were assigned with the task of rebuilding Rome. Rome was not built in a day, and neither was our hallway but I clearly remember always having a big turnout and everyone being extremely motivated to get this particular set of decorations done because this year of homecoming decorating required a lot of big projects and as a result, a lot of teamwork. I remember our more artistic peers handcrafting the Trevi Fountain and the famous Roman Colosseum, while the less artistic students, myself included, rolled out columns with the students' names on them and got our hands messy painting a sign that said S-O-P-H M-O-R-E-S. Now, for you good spellers out there, yes, the word sophomores was missing the middle O. And we got plenty of good laughs from our little spelling error. These laughs carried over into our junior year, most notably into the whitewater rafting trip. Who could possibly forget the freezing cold water war that broke out after we found out our lunches were being held on the buses? It seemed as if everyone was simultaneously shivering and chattering their teeth on that bitter cold afternoon. Nonetheless, we managed to wrap our ice-cold hands around our oars 
and paddle through the rapids, passing our fallen classmates to the finish line, while maintaining outstanding teamwork with our raft mates. It is because of what I could feel, or rather what I couldn't feel that day, that I can say with absolute certainty, that is a memory that will remain frozen in my mind for many years to come. It still gives me chills. Something else that has been giving me chills for these past 180 days has been, well, these past 180 days. A little something we like to call senior year. There have been plenty of highlights I can go into great detail about. Oh, so. As you can imagine, oh, okay. But I'm sure everyone in this crowd wants to hear more about our trip to Disney, because I know I want to. But before I do, I'd like to quote a tweet sent out by one of my fellow seniors, Dean Klimek. Dean, where are you? He's raising his hand. Okay. Dean wrote sometime towards the end of the year, quote, senior year, the year we meet people who we wish we met earlier in high school. Let that sink in. This is possibly the most accurate statement I've ever had the pleasure of reading. Throughout senior year, a good majority of the class has revealed their true colors. I've not only made new friends, but I've also learned new things and become closer with my old friends. As you all can imagine, this continued when we arrived at the happiest place on earth. Don't get me wrong, it was very exciting to throw up our empty hands and make funny poses on Splash Mountain, but I think my favorite part of senior trip was simply walking around the parks and sitting poolside to have a nice chat with one of my classmates. And I guess you all could say that's what I'm doing right now, having one final chat with the entire class in one place. So to wrap it up, whether I was using my hands to yell a cheer, rebuild Rome in a day, paddle through the rapids, or make a funny pose as I scream my way down Splash Mountain, I would like you, my fellow classmates, to join me in using my hands one final time to give ourselves a big round of applause. Class of 2015, this is it, Lenape Pride. Had to make sure to get both sides. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Rudy Siori for the recognition of straight A's and perfect attendance. At this time, we are going to recognize students for achieving four years of perfect attendance and straight A's over the course of four years at Lenape High School. I will begin with the two students who have achieved four years of perfect attendance. When your name is called, please stand and remain standing until both names are called. The first student is Jayan Funyi Chan and Dominic Dominique Rose Cherubini. Congratulations. The eight students who achieved straight A's over their four years at Lenape High School are Andre, Joshua, and Julia, Alexa, Rose, Barica, David, B, Camerata, Rebecca, Leah, Cohen, Adam, Michael, Dewey, David, Kim, Sabrina, Jane, LaRosa, and Carly A. Petapal. Congratulations. You may be seated. At this time, I'm going to introduce the class of 2015 valedictorian, David Kim. Uh, good evening. Esteemed guests, administrators and faculty, friends and family, class of 2015. I am honored to be standing here today, commemorating the culmination of all our hard work and accomplishments. We've always pondered what the final moments of high school would be like, the end of a long career. Who knew the end would come so quickly for us? Remember walking into these hollowed halls of Lenape as freshmen, scared out of our wits, nervous yet still excited for the many memories we would make, in, we would, we would make here? And boy, we've made plenty. Every day here was an adventure, from walking into homeroom at 7.30 in the morning to leaving at 2.26 in the afternoon, there was never a day when we didn't learn something new. No matter what would happen in school, we would always find a way to make the best out of our time. To be honest, 
Before I came to Lenape, I had some doubts and fears stuck at a crossroad. I didn't know whether I should pursue my musical career at a conservatory or continue to advance in my academic studies. But now, after committing four years to this school, I can wholeheartedly say without any regrets that I made the right choice. Lenape was a perfect place for me. Coming to school, I was shocked to discover that Lenape offered so many opportunities for me to broaden my skills and interests as long as I looked for them. More importantly, it had people, amazing people, amazing friends, whom I would soon come to cherish. Freels, though. With all these resources at my fingertips, as well as the unending support from my peers, I was, able to, I was able to achieve so much more than I ever thought I could. Of course, we have so many people to thank for our success here. Without their help and guidance, we would not have been able to reach our goals. Never did I dream of becoming the valedictorian with a future education at Princeton University. Okay, so maybe I did dream about the Princeton part, but many of us here have likewise attained an unimaginable number of significant accomplishments because we've had people to push and support us along the way. We have our teachers to thank, whose passion to teach have contributed to our growth both in intellect and in character. We have our friends to thank as well for the countless times they've had our backs with helping us cram for an exam or finish an assignment due the next day. We have our families to thank for their emotional support in our times of stress and struggle. I would not have been able to get where I am today without the loving support of my mother, the strong guidance from my father, and the on-point advice from my sister, even if it did sting at times. I can personally attest to this fact because of each and everyone um, sitting here in the stands today, our friends, teachers, family, we are proudly part of Lenape's graduating class of 2015. Many of us will be going to great universities and colleges. Some will start in the workforce, and others will be involved in various aspects of the military. But we will all have our eyes set on places and goals bigger and better than high school. Pursuing our different passions and interests, we will further educate ourselves in hopes, in, in hopes of an even better future. And so I ask you, where does that take us? Many of us have spent a lifetime here in Mount Laurel, and through these years, we've made inseparable bonds with our peers, forming close friendships that cannot be broken by time or distance. We've made, memory, we've, we've made many memories both in and out of school, memories to be held dear, kept forever, and immortalized in our hearts. But the time has come for us to move on, to transition from old to new, to embrace the unknown and continue on our path of maturation and growth. We've made it this far, and we have so much yet in store for us. No doubt, there have been periods of pain and joy, trial and success. Some of us had to overcome en enormous hurdles to be where we are today. But now, we are stronger than ever to face whatever light life, might life might throw at us, because we share a connection. Either through bonds that form since kindergarten, or maybe even just this year, our unity makes us unbeatable, even invincible. So I call everyone here today, not just the graduates, but everyone else who has been part of our journey, to join us once more for our next step. Michael Jordan once said, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. And here at Lenape, we overcome many of these obstacles. And no doubt, we will face many more in both number and magnitude. But I want everyone here to know, all 489 of us graduating tonight, that if you've gotten this far, you can achieve anything you want. Don't let other people tell you what you can or cannot do. You are your own person. You are talented and smart. You are dedicated and passionate. You are the future. So let us not back away from the mystery of what's to come, but rather surge forward with the courage and skill that our time here at Lenape has taught us. I think, no, I know that all of us have the potential for greatness to make a real change in this world, our world. If we take the initiative to put our best foot forward, we can impart a positive impact on our community as well as the people we love around us. And as many of us move up in the world, never forget to remember your roots, where you came from, and who helped you get to where you want to be. Class of 2015, congratulations on making it this far, and good luck. We're going to be great. I'd now like to introduce Mr. William Murray for the recognition of the top 10%. I'll be presenting the students who are ranked in the top 10% of the Lenape class of 2015. Please hold your applause until all the students have been presented. Students, please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names are called. 
They are Neville Abraham, Alexandra Kristen Agravante, Andre Joshua Angelia, John Oliver A. Bellardo, Alexandria Sophia Bennett, Jessica Lynn Blood, Alexa Rose Barica, David B. Camerata, Christine Francis Salona, Joseph Anthony Salona, Jayan Funyi Chan, Dominique Rose Cherubini, Rebecca Lee Cohen, Evan Sean Crotty, Jessica Ann Decord, Jacob James Demery, Adam Michael Dewey, Lillian Rose Firth, Isabella Claire Fornia, Camille Winston Franklin, Melissa Audrey Freidhoff, Emily Allison Gold, Alicia K. Hampton, Aaron Harvey, Kara Sambuco Hollins, Emily Hunt, Matthew J. Casper, Lindsay N. Kelly, David Kim, Elizabeth Julia Kinkler, Sabrina Jane LaRosa, Rebecca A. Lilly, Nina Lynn, Sydney Teresa McNally, Sydney Lynn Meyer, Angelica Kieran Mishra, Austin Jules Montgomery, Dana Michelle Morris, Tucker Gabriel King Moses Hansen, Mary Elizabeth Moynihan, Margot Namnaum, Christopher Michael Nishi, Andrea Beatriz Orta, Deepa Patel, Carly A. Petapa, Madison Jane Plaskett, Samira Polavarapu, Carly Jean Pereka, Maeve Elizabeth Ryan, Tommy Shah, Stephen Sheck, Shabab Siddiqui, Zachary N. Silver, excuse me, Zachary, <laughs> Kelly Nicole Singer, I almost got through it, Marissa Ann Topolsky, Casey Joanna Vaughn, Dragon Vojevic, Rebecca E. Wyland, Taylor Royal Williams, and Gina Marie Wadarczyk. Congratulations, top 10% of the class of 2015. Please be seated. At this time, it is my honor to introduce the class salutatorian, Sabrina LaRosa. Hi, everyone. Thank you and welcome to the administration, Lenape faculty, parents, friends, and family who have joined us this evening. But most importantly, welcome class of 2015. I am honored to have the opportunity to speak to you all tonight. Four years have passed since we first walked through the doors of Lenape as clueless freshmen, stumbling to make it through the halls, struggling to, uh, struggling to make it from class to class without losing our way, and in my case, possessing a slight fear of the seniors. And in those past four years, so much has changed. Now we no longer walk through Lenape as meek freshmen. We have grown and developed into the young adults that stand here today, having survived all four years of high school and the challenges that accompany those years. Finally, it is our day to receive our diplomas and be proud of all our personal growth, all that we have accomplished, and all that we will accomplish. Christopher Columbus once said, you can never cross the ocean until you lose sight of the shore. And he was right. Because our accomplishments are a result of the risks that we are willing to take. Remember in fourth grade when you took the chance of aiming your crush, constantly fearing that there would be no response? Or in middle school, when you tried out to be on the sports team, 
or stood up in front of everyone in step theater, unsure of what the end result would be. Or even in high school, when you took the chance of asking someone to prom. But with the risks came the rewards of success. The bing of the computer as your elementary school crush responded. The notification that you made the sports team. The yes from your prom date. There comes a time in everyone's life where a chance must be taken and that person must be willing to sail away from that sand and enter the unknown water. Yet, great opportunities are often missed or taken for granted because of fear of failing. Throughout, in our youngest years, we never, took, we never feared taking a chance. We swung from monkey bars without fear of falling. Throughout elementary school, when we defied the fear of failure by believing we could be superheroes. Why did fear slowly begin to take over and control aspects of our lives? I urge you all to go back to that mindset when you were not afraid to fall off the monkey bars, when you believed that you could be a superhero. For it is that mindset that allows you to take a chance, to lower inhibitions and not fear failure. As high school graduates, we are fully in control of our lives for the first time. Soon we will be out on our own, whether it be in college, the workforce, or the armed services. And this is the time when we will take all that we have learned at Lenape and use it for something greater. We control pursuing that passion brought upon us by freshman year biology, junior year history, or senior year English. There will be risks involved and moments where we must take a leap of faith, but each hurdle will be worth it. Use these high school moments as steps into the future and never forget the things that you learned, the memories you made, or the friends that will last a lifetime. Thank you to our parents for the countless hours that you put in driving us from place to place and watching us at every sporting event, concert, or play. Your dedication is the reason for our success. To our teachers for working tirelessly to ensure that we are prepared for the outside world. To our siblings for always being there for us. And finally, to our friends and classmates for making our high school experience better than we could ever imagine. For each of them played a role in making all of us the people we are today. And today, Go out and celebrate all of your achievements because we have all accomplished amazing things to have made it here. Congratulations, class of 2015. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Mr. Gene Jones for the presentation of the awards. Students, at this time, we ask that when your name is called, please stand to be recognized and then return to your seat. Members of the audience, we ask that you please hold your applause until all award recipients have been announced. The description of the criteria for each award is listed in your program. The first award is the Amanda Geiger Memorial Art Award, Michael Timothy Winter. Audubon Savings Bank David R. Morris Award, Stephen Sheck. Bob Barushkin Memorial Scholarship. Aaron Harvey. Christopher Michael Nishi. Burlington County Medical Society Scholarship. Maeve Elizabeth Ryan. Charlotte and Franklin Clark Memorial Award. Jacob James Demery. Cherry Hill OBGYN Virginia Roberts Memorial Scholarship. Alexandra Christian Agravante. Class of 1972 Scholarship, Emily Hunt, Samantha Jean Maines. Community Blood Council of New Jersey, LHS Student Council Award, Jacob James Demery, David John Feta Cantera, Juliet Andrea Hairsign, Rachel Nicole Higgins. Country Garden Club of Mount Laurel, Samira Palavarpu, Maeve Elizabeth Ryan. Countryside School PTO Award, Jessica Ann DeCord. Dave Logar Award, James F. Kennedy Jr., 
Brielle Lynn Stoner, Casey Joanna Vaughn, Eric Joseph Wright. Donald G. Jansen Sr. Memorial Award, Austin Jules Montgomery. Ebo Strong Foundation Scholarship, Jared Tyler Skoll. Eleanor and Charles Wollersdorf Memorial Award, Megan Colleen Hardiman. Fleetwood School PTO, James F. Kennedy Jr. Future Educators of America Scholarship, Sarah Marie Lemonian. Jerry Alfonito Memorial Lacrosse Scholarship, Aaron Judah Cohen. Connor B. Wolf. Harford Harrington School PTO Award, Matthew B. Anderson. Hillside School PTO Award, Alexa Rose Barica, Gina Marie Wadarsik. International Sports Center of Mount Laurel, McKenna P. DeCraft. Jack Crosby Scholarship, Dominic Gaetano Guaneri. Jacobs Chapel and family and friends of James Bryant, Taylor, and Lenape African American Clubs Unsung Hero Award, Danielle Andrea Holmes. K. Kiki Constantinus Foundation Award, Aaron Harvey, David Kim, Carly A. Petapal, Casey Joanna Vaughn. Kevin Dunning Memorial Scholarship, Olivia Ellen Mann, Taylor P. Warwick. Christina Dragani Scholarship for Music, Mary Elizabeth Moynihan. Larchmont School PTO Award, Ryan Evan Brook, Brianna Cariello. Lenape Band Parents Association, Mackenzie Catherine King, Alexander Stephen Riemann, Ashley Parvina Sulan. Lenape Boys Basketball Scholarship, David Joseph, sorry, Daniel Joseph Robustello. Lenape Community Scholarship, Rebecca Leah Cohen, Rebecca E. Weiland. Lenape District Education Association, Gerald B. Collan, Memorial Award, Rylan Christine Lynch, Imani Najeri Robinson, Taylor Royal Williams. Lenape Drivers Education Scholarship, Lindsay Jacqueline Wood. Lenape Girls Soccer Scholarship, Alicia K. Hampton, Sydney Teresa McNally. Lenape Girls Volleyball Parent Association Scholarship, Colby Jane Brooks. Lenape High School Mount Laurel Rotary Club Community Service Award. Jacob James Demery, Neharika Kashimanti. Lenape High School National Honor Society Award, Jacob James Demery, Molly Ruth Dolan, Marissa Holloway, Casey Joanna Vaughn. Lenape High School Student Council Award, Christine Francis Salona, Jessica Rose Salona, Jacob James Demery, David John, I'm sorry, David John Fady Cantera, Lauren A. Goldstein, Juliet Andrea Hairsign, Rachel Nicole Higgins, Kara Sambuco Hullings. Lenape Art Club Scholarship, Brielle Lynn Stoner. Lenape PTO Community Service Scholarship, John Thomas Barton, Kevin J. Davis, Amanda Jamie Hochberg, Jessica Ann Corhummel. Lenape Pride Football Club Awards, Stephen E. Anderson, Malcolm James Errol Anthony, Dominic James Bonasisi, Anthony J. Brunetti, Jessica Ann Butler, Christine Francis Salona, Jessica Rose Salona, Dominique Rose Cherubini, McKenna P. DeCraft, Gina L. Donnelly, Morgan Alexa Enline, Paul L. Fullerton, Isabella Gigliello, Lauren A. Goldstein, Benjamin Hunt IV, Nicholas Haynes Iconelli, Joseph Jarrett Jones III, Justin Paul Katz, James F. Kennedy Jr., Rylan Christine Lynch, Daniel James Marino, David Prescott Roberts, Daniel Elizabeth Roth, Antonella Regina Schiano, Brandon Gage Searles, Darren R. Spitzer, Jade Swan, Paige Nicole Thompson. Lenape Science League Award, John Oliver A. Bellardo. Lenape Wrestling, Kyle S. McIntyre. Lisa Vitale Memorial Scholarship, Laura M. Craffy, Emily Lynn Husselton. Mary Kadimo Schurig Memorial Award, 
Andre, Joshua, and Julia. Matthew Shields Memorial Award. Adam Michael Dewey, Ryan M. McMahon, Sydney Teresa McNally. Medford Police Association Award. Caitlin Marie Dariff, Molly Ruth Dolan, Zachary N. Silver. Medford Rotary Leo Roselli Memorial Scholarship. Samantha Mary Adams. Michael E. Egley Memorial Scholarship. Samantha Lynn Augusti. Mount Laurel Softball Senior Award. Dominique Rose Cherubini, Jessica Ann McCord, Samantha E. Elliott, Madison Elise Morosky, Caitlin Nicole Sr. Mount Laurel Police Association Award. Christina Kaylee Cover, Julia Patterson Ramirez. Mr. William Lang Retirement Scholarship, Aaron Harvey. Parkway School PTO Award, John Thomas Barton, Melissa N. Cheeseman, Jessica May Murray, Peg O'Reilly Memorial Scholarship, Michael Timothy Winter. Restore Physical Therapy Boys Lacrosse Scholarship, Vincent Michael Alfinito. Samantha Lucas Memorial Scholarship, Shannon Gallagher. Samaritan Healthcare and Hospice, Jessica Lynn Blood, Julia Patterson Ramirez. Societa Bellitalia Club Scholarship, Nicole Lee Bernardi. Springville School PTO Scholarship, Yanni Voltis Christu, Lindsay N. Kelly. The Tom Latona Athletic Scholarship, Aaron Harvey, Caitlin McKenna. The Vote Scholarship, Marissa Ann Topolsky. Why Men's Club of, Warstown, of Morristown's Awards, the Howard E. Evans Memorial Scholarship, Matthew B. Anderson, Madison Jane Plaskett. The H. Lundley Gardner Memorial Scholarship, Jessica Ann Corhummel. The H. Ford Stockwell Memorial Scholarship, Emily Allison Gold, Christian Marie Whitaker. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority, Zeta Delta Chapter Scholarship, Christian Marie Whitaker. Three Dimensional Physical Therapy Award, Sydney Teresa McNally. Additional scholarships not listed in your program, the ABCO Federal Credit Union Scholarship, Jacob James Demery, and Lenape Athletic Foundation, Lenape Athletic Foundation, Elizabeth P. Restivo, Dragon Voyevich. Congratulations to the graduation award recipients for the class of 2015. And now I'd like to reintroduce the Lenape Combined Chorus under the direction of Mr. Brendan Moore for a musical selection entitled Children Will Listen by Stephen Sondheim, arranged by Mark Brimer. I ask that all senior members of the chorus come to join the chorus at this time. Thank you.
like to introduce Senior Class Advisor, Mr. Peyton Ebison, and Senior Class Vice President, Mr. Timothy Winter, for the presentation of the class gift. We present this award to Mr. Catani. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With the class gift, we will look to enhance the hallways and bring some life to our hallways for future classes for years to come. Thank you for your class gift. It is my honor, this is a good part, folks. It is my honor to uh, introduce Director of Curriculum Instruction for the Lenape Regional High School District, Ms. Heather Zanakis, for the presentation of the class of 2015. Good evening. I am pleased to represent the Lenape Regional High School District Administration tonight to present the class of 2015. Please join me in welcoming Lenape Regional Board of Education member, John Jeffers, from the Mount Laurel Township Schools, Superintendent, Dr. Antoinette Rath, and Board President, Maureen Soika. From the Mount Laurel Municipality Office, Deputy Mayor Dennis Riley and Township Council, Linda Bobo. Tonight we celebrate the culmination of public education that started for many of the 2015 graduates when they entered kindergarten in Mount Laurel Township 13 years ago. Community leaders, Board of Education members, administrators, and teachers from the Mount Laurel and the Lenape Regional High School District have come together to celebrate this once-in-a-lifetime occasion for our graduates. Graduates, congratulations. You have made it. You have met another milestone in your life, a very significant one, graduation from Lenape High School. From the time you first entered the doors of Lenape High School, many of you as freshmen, you may have wondered what it would have been like four years later as seniors to sit with your fellow classmates on this field. And here you are right now. I urge you to take the lessons that have you have learned from your time spent at Lenape High School, both inside and outside of the classroom, and reflect on what was and is important to you as a person and let your actions reflect those guiding principles as you become a contributing member of society as you graduate from Lenape High School. Now for the time that the graduates have been patiently waiting for. In my official capacity as the Lenape Regional High School District Administrator, I hereby certify to the Lenape Regional High School District Board of Education that the collective members of the Lenape High School graduating 2000 class of the, I'm sorry the Lenape High School graduating class of 2015 have fulfilled all of the requirements prescribed by the state of New Jersey and the local board of education further that they have at this time earned the right to be awarded a Lenape High School diploma board of education and guests, it is my honor to present the members of the Lenape High School Class of 2015. I would like to now recognize the four student officers from the Class of 2015 who will be reading the names of this evening's graduates. Michael Winter, Joseph Salona, Kevin Davis, and we will begin with Rylan Lynch. Thank you. Anne Catherine Peichel. Tyreek A. Abrams. Medina A. Adams. Samantha Mary Adams. Stefan Corey Adams. David Richard Agar, 
Alexandra Kristen Agravante, David S. Aguirre, Gabriella D. Aiello, Trent Ainsworth, Vincent Michael Alfinito, Alexandria V. Altieri, Deanna Ray Amarello, Matthew B. Anderson, Sierra Marietta Anderson, Stephen E. Anderson, Andre Joshua Angelia, Malcolm James Errol Anthony, Dylan Logan Astrom, Samantha Lynn Avgusti, Danielle M. Baez, Dahlia Lake Bailey, Carlos J. Bailate, Tyler William Bamford, Diana M. Barbardo, John Thomas Barton, Garrett Charles Beatty, Samuel Joseph Bellinger, John Oliver A. Bellardo, Tiffany Lynn Bender, Alexandria Sophia Bennett, Brianna A. Benson, Rebecca Nicole Bernard, Nicole Lee Bernardi, Stephen William Beerley, Jessica Lynn Blood, Justin Patrick Blumberg, Eric L. Bobo, Anna Lauren Borchers, Brandon Glenn Bolden, Dominic James Bonacisi, Andrew Owen Boyce, Megan Michelle Braddock, Emily Rebecca Brady, Taylor Charlene Bregman, Brandon J. Britt, Ryan Evan Brook, Colby Jane Brooks, Millie Brooks, Anthony J. Brunetti, Jared Lewis Buonanno, Patrick John Berger, Alexa Rose Bereca, Morgan Kimberly Bush, Jessica Ann Butler, Patrick J. Byrne, David B. Camerata, Janelle Canavos, Julia Lynn Carbone, Brianna Cariello, Brianna Grace Carpenter, Timothy C. Carroll, Adesha Carver, Kyra S. Celia, Michael Austin Celia, Christine Francis Salona, Jessica Rose Salona, Joseph Anthony Salona, Jayan Fungi Chan, Melissa N. Cheeseman, Dominique Rose Cherubini, Riley Shea Childress, Gabrielle A. Cho, Elizabeth Rose Christine, Yanni Voltis Christu, Anthony M. Campy, Aaron Judah Cohen, Rebecca Leah Cohen, Ryan Patrick Coleman, Alexa Noel Colfer, Jason Andrew Collier, Erica Marie Colucci, Kyle Austin Kuhn, Mara Isabel Coquia, Christina Kaylee Cover, Laura M. Craffy, Denisha Tiara Craig, Evan Sean Crotty, Christopher R. Cruz, Christopher Michael Cryer, Kimberly Lillian Swartaki, Colin J. Daniels, Caitlin Marie Dariff, Alan E. Davis, Kevin J. Davis, McKenna P. DeCraft, Jessica Ann DeCord, Andrew David Delos, Sydney Nicole Demo, Jacob James Demery, Nicholas Anthony DePadavo, 
Adam Alphonse Derengowski, Anthony E. Devlin, Adam Michael Dewey, Isaiah K. DeLulo, Taylor Jean Dixon, Kevin Teen Doe, Benjamin Owen Dodamine, Molly Ruth Dolan, Gina L. Donnelly, Darren G. Douglas, Eric S. Dronsky, Dalton R. Drummond, George E. Duffield, Jr., Donovan Preston Durham. Ola T. Ismael, Samantha E. Elliott, Alyssa Geraldine Elwell, Colin J. Emery, Morgan Alexa Enline, Christopher Asimio, Benjamin P. Fadul, David John Fady Cantera, Donovan D. Ferranto, Alicia Rachel Finer, Lillian Rose Firth, Isabella Claire Fornia, Jason Gregory Fournier, Kaya Monet Frabel, Camille Winston Franklin, Shannon Maureen Frawley, Amy Elizabeth Fredrickson, Matthew Joseph Freifong, <laughs> Melissa Audrey Friedhoff, Jason Ryan Friedman, Gabriella T. Friedman, Ginny Fuller, Paul L. Fullerton, Shannon Gallagher, Lyric Marlene Generals, Daniel J. Gerdes, Jermaine Gerges, Lauren Cynthia Gershman, Michael John Gerst, Kara Mia Gervasi, Jeffrey Brian Geis Jr., Michael David Giger, Anthony Joseph Gigi, Isabella Giello, Anthony J. Giletto, Shelby Faith Jaquinto, Emily Allison Gold, Kylie Brooke Goldfarb, Lauren A. Goldstein, Zachary Andrew Golieb, Gabriella Gonzalez, Kaylin Michelle Good, Alexis Sierra Gould, Christopher Caputo Govea, Gregory Harold Gray, Kelsey J. Gray, Tamaya S. Green, Benjamin Shaw Greenberg, Gabrielle Sidney Grosvenor, Dominic Gaetano Guineri, Shamrez Hayter, Edward Vincent Haynes, Joshua David Haynes, Dana Alexa Halcombe, Emily A. Hall, Skylar Ray Hamilton, Alicia K. Hampton, Elijah J. Hampton, Megan Colleen Hardiman, Juliet Andrea Harrison, Megan Hartzell, Aaron Harvey, Samantha Haley Harward, Chelsea Sadie Haskell, Thomas Daniel Haskell, Tyree Nigel Hawkins, Tyler Philip A. Bear, Carol M. Henderson, Destiny Victoria Hendricks Douglas, Lauren Jessica Henry, Rachel Nicole Higgins, Morgan Sinclair Hill, Amanda Jamie Hochberg, Marissa Holloway, Danielle Andrea Holmes, Jamil Joshua Holmes, Devante M. Hooks, 
Robert Havdash, Brianna M. Howard, Michael Nicholas Hughes, Kara Sambuco Hollings, Benjamin Hunt IV, Emily Hunt, Emily Lynn Huselton, Nicholas Haynes Iaconelli, Rachel Irene Ingram, Tiffany Danielle Jacobs, Avery K. Johnson, Maurice Edward Johnson, Quentin Johnson, Jennifer Ashley Jones, Joseph Jarrett Jones III, Tyshawn Christopher Paris Jones, Niharika Kazmahanti, Matthew J. Casper, Victoria Grace Casper Zachart, Justin Paul Katz, Parminder Kaur, John M. Cotterman, Brandon C. K. Vinnie G. Keen. David Keenan Jr. Alyssa Nicole Kelly. Lindsey N. Kelly. James F. Kennedy Jr. Nicole Ashley Keough. David Kim. Devin H. Kim. Zachary Scott Kincaid, Mackenzie Catherine King, Elizabeth Julia Kinkler, Dean R. Klimek, Cliff L. Coe, Justin Sean Cagle, Jessica Ann Kornhummel, Prathamesh Santosh Kotgeier, Jessica Ann Kavalik. Paul Joseph Kachara Jr. Caitlin Lee Kaczynski. Adam T. Cusirk. Kayla Jessica Labrador. Victoria Rose Lake. Sabrina Jane LaRosa. Nicholas James Lawson. Jalik D. Lay. Joshua N. D. Legal. Sarah Marie Lemunyan. Anaya Monet Lewis, Paul M. Lewis, Z. Lee, Corey T. Lickle, Jacob A. Liebling, Rebecca A. Lilly, Sarah T. Lilly, Nina Lynn, Ryland Christine Lynch, Mitchell T. McQuaid, Garrett Joseph Mahon, Olivia Ellen Mann, Rebecca Brielle Menino, Daniel James Marino, Dylan Tyler Markowitz, Rachel Claire Mashaw, Donald John Matlack, Samantha Jean Maines, Marion Ray Mayo Tanzash, Janine Taylor Mazare. Shane Andrew McCann, Matthew John McCarthy, James A. McLean, Mackenzie Lena McElain, Kyle S. McIntyre, Caitlin McKenna, Alexandra Shannon McLean, Alexander S. McLean, Ryan M. Check, check, check. Check, check, okay. Ryan M. Check, 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 check. Ryan, Ryan M. Mc check, check, check. Ryan M. McMahon. Check, check. Ryan M. McMahon. <laughs> Sydney Teresa McNally. 
Patrick Pierce McVeigh. Teresa Long Mahar. Lauren Michelle Molino. Murdy Mergy. Nicole Madeline. 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 Ma check, check. Nicole Madeline. Nicole Madeline Messina. Sydney Lynn Meyer. Christopher Michael. Lindsay K. Michalaskis. Alexis Bailey Miller. Andrew Wallace Miller. Connor Patrick Milley. Gabriella Alexis Mills. Vincent P. Mirabella. Mir 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 Mirabella. Check, 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 check. Vincent P. Vincent P. Mirabella. <clears throat> Where was I? Angelica Kieran Mishra. Kira L. Meisner. Ariel C. Mitchell. Austin Jules Montgomery. Jamie Lee Moore. Ariel C. Morales. Katie L. O. Morales. Emily L. Morel. Madison Elise Moroski. Dana Michelle Morris. Jada Marie Morris. Tucker Gabriel King Moses Hansen. Anastasia Kylie Mosher. Mary Elizabeth Moynihan. Austin Thomas Mufali. Kyle Thomas Mulroy. Ruby Marani. Jessica May Murray. Michael L. Musgrove. Margo Namnoom. Michael Blaze Nardelli. Robert Thomas Nardello. Taylor Lynn Nido. Christopher Michael Nishi. Abigail J. Nacido. Patrick Colin O'Brien. Andrea Beatrice Orta. Tiana Shanef Ortiz. Nicole Jeanette Pacetti. Ashley Y. Pai. Brett D. Painter. Ralph G. Palmero. Matthew Thomas Palumbo. Christian E. Painis. Deepa Patel. Kushal Patel. Misha M. Patel. Natalie M. Peel. Celine K. Pence. Morgan E. Perkins. Eric Nathan Perper. Carly A. Pettipal. Jamie R. Phillips. Anthony David Pizzo. Madison Jane Plaskett. Sean Michael Plunkett. Samira Polavar. Sam check, check. Samira Polavarapu. Carly Jean Pereka. Kristen Danielle Petoskey. Olivia Mitchell Price. Eric B. Pry. Sabrina Nicole Queenan. Julia Patterson Ramirez. Ronald C. Randall III. Spencer Raymond. Jessica Marie Ream. Sierra Nicole Johnson Reese. Elizabeth Anna Reed. Alana Renee Reyna. Sean Thomas Remington. Shanique Renalik. Elizabeth P. Restivo. Rebecca Nicole Rieger. Alexander Stephen Raymond. 
Colin D. Riera. Janelle Nicole Styles Riles. Max C. Ritter. Rabab Fatima Rizvi. Sayed Ali Rizvi. David Prescott Roberts. Imani Najiri Robinson. Daniel Joseph Robustella. Alani Mariana Rodriguez. Dean M. Roller. Ayana Ashlyn Rune, Matthew L. Roselli, Danielle Elizabeth Ross, Holly Lynn Roth, Ivani Anadi Roberte, sorry about that, Nicole James Rutch, Tyler S. Rudnick, Jordan Wesley Russell, Lawrence E. Russell Jr. Maeve Elizabeth Ryan, Sophia Sai, Myrna Hanny Said, Quinn Riley Salceda, Joseph F. Sammons, Lucas A. Sambunchi, Dominique Paulette Sapp, Alexis Junpei Sato, Julia M. Scanlon, Amber Mai Scarbaggio, Antonella Regina Shiana, Kate Scofield, Neil Arthur Shorts, Raquel Lee Shorts, Marquise J. Scott, Brandon Gage Searles, Alexandra Mari Seeds, Caitlin Nicole Sr., Tommy Shaw, Alexander Eric Shaw, Stephen Sheck, Maxwell J. Shelley, Cassandra Kaylee Shields, Rachel Lynn Shover, Shabab Siddiqui, love you too, Janae Samuel Seitz, Zachary N. Silver, Austin Jaja Maurice Sims, Kelly Nicole Singer, Sadie L. Sitneri, Jared Tyler Skoll, Brandon C. Smith, Latea Diani Smith, Andrew Michael Smoley, Trevor J. Snowden, Christopher Michael Selecki, Haley Lawrence Spellman, Zachary Tyler Spiegel, Darren R. Spitzer, Jared A. Stanley, Kurt M. Stanley, Seamus Patrick Steele, Andrew Lucas Stein, Michael Frederick Stefferson, Taylor Madison Sternberg, Byron Biel Lynn Stoner, Anna V. Stratter, Don J. Suh, Ashley Paravune Solan, Bethel Juliet Salt, Jade Swan, Matthew Jack Swire, Elizabeth Mahik Sied, Jacqueline Alexandra Zuki, Gregory R. Tendergen, Alexis Rachel Thomas, Paige Nicole Thompson, Marissa Ann Topolsky, Brandon Joseph Torres, Cheyenne D. Tribble, Tyler Marquise Tootin, Fieda Joanna Van Horn, Casey J. Fawn, Ryan Samuel Fentrilla, Brianna Anna Vincent, Benjamin Joseph Fox, Dragon Fokovic, Emily Ross Wagner, Drea Louise Campos Warren, William J. John Warren, Taylor P. Warwick, Diage Lenise Welcome, Jessica Mary Welty, Derek Peter Westhead, Christian Mary 
Wait, take her. Maxwell Wicker. Rebecca E. Wylan. Stephen James Williams. Taylor Royal Williams. Turquoise Maya Williams. Michael Timothy Winter. Gina Mary Wodarski. Connor B. Wolf. Aaron Dwayne Wood. Lindsay Jacqueline Wood. Sierra L. Wooding. Adam Samuel Wright. Eric Joseph Wright. Mackenzie Wright. Michael A. Wright. Nathan J. Yezreel. Christina Elizabeth Sangi. Miranda Ziano Pocheco. Jennifer Sang. Thomas James Swartz. Matthew J. Sabrisky. And last but not least, my boy Jonathan K. Zwick. I almost forgot. I would also like to reintroduce Mr. Catanity to come up to the podium. It is my pleasure to bring up Alston Montgomery for the traditional tassel ceremony. Wow. Okay. So this is really it. Um, okay. So everyone. Please take your tassel, the thing you've been playing with all night. Make sure it's on your left side. If not, put it there right now. And you're going to want to slowly maneuver it over to the right side. Not like I'm doing it. Right that? Okay. And uh, I wish you guys best of luck. That's all I got for you. Congratulations. Congratulations.